Hi, my name is Elizabeth Aristotle and I'm one of your librarians here at BMCC. Today we are going to look at one of the databases you can use for your research in gender and women's studies. All right, so we are on the library homepage right now and what we want to do is select the databases tab. From there we can go a databases A to Z but because we know we want to look at specific databases that can help with gender and women's studies, we're going to look at the list of databases by subject. I'm going to go ahead and click on this drop down, select gender and women's studies, and select go. And so now you see we have nine databases, but for the purposes of these videos uh, you'll be watching, we're going to go over just the top four, the best bets, all right? So let's look at contemporary women's issues. If we go right back to it, it says this database covers information of worldwide women's issues. All right. So this is a basic search where you could just put in one term. And you'll get a lot of results. All right. Contemporary women's issues is given to us through Gale One File. And as you can see, this database separates results by source type. So we have videos, images, news, books, academic journals, which are the articles, um, and magazines, right? So right now this is these are all the results we're getting. And this is too much, right? We can try and limit by date. Let's see if this brings anything down. Uh, we're gonna do 10 years ago up to today. Let's see if this brings the number down a bit. Okay, it brought the numbers down. Not enough though. We're still in the thousands. How are you gonna get through all of these sources? So let's select article. Still brought it down, still not enough, right? So that was a basic search. Let's try and do an advanced search and see if we can get something a bit more specific. So. We did domestic violence. We, we searched for domestic violence. What we're going to do now is be a bit more specific, um, and we're going to call it intimate partner violence. All right. Uh, and we're going to choose, let's see, peer review and documents with full text. The advanced search lets us limit our results um, before we even do the search. Um, but we're only gonna choose these two limiters right now to see what we can get. Full text, peer review. And look at that. Only academic journal articles are showing up, 350, that's good. Now we, now we can limit by date. Now this is, um, these are, so articles that you might use in a paper. So you want them to have some substance, right? Um, it's not a secondary source. It most likely will be a primary source of some kind. Um, but if it's supporting your argument, it still needs to have some length. So you're seeing 4,000, 5,000 words. Okay. Australian women's perspectives of routine inquiry into domestic violence before and after birth. 6,000 words. This one looks like a good source. Okay. So once you open up the source, database will allow you to translate it, decrease the font size, increase the font size, change your display options, listen to the article. You can save it to various drives. We have Google Drive, OneDrive. Uh, you can email it, download it as a PDF, or print it. All right. And this information you see up here is what you would need for your citation, correct? You need the author, you need the date published, uh, the journal with the volume and issue number, the publisher, and then you have the digital object identifier, which is the link that is specific for this article on this database, right? Okay. This database also allows you to cite it, right? You have a lot of options here. You can also send it to someone else or, you know, send it to yourself, uh, get a link or highlight it, right? Highlight throughout. 
before you print, I would suppose. So let's download. And there we go. The browser I'm using is Firefox, and this is how a downloaded PDF looks in Firefox. So I would select this file folder here. Let me close that. Uh, to print, I would select this print button. To download it, to finish the download of this PDF, I would hit this file folder, which, as you saw in the hover, um, said save, right? So you can change the title of the of the file as you see fit, um, but just click save and boom, now it's on my computer. And that's how you can do it too. Um, and this is how you would use the database contemporary women's issues. Thank you and best of luck on your research.